Hey, what is going on? Julian Rosen here, head coach at Wake Up Wealthy. And today you are going to learn how to gain the unfair advantage in your life and in your business. Straight up in this quick training here. Because after helping 300 plus guys predictably scale to the multiple six and seven figure level while also mastering their habits, their mindset, their mental and emotional health and achieving like real balance in their lives. Um, I can tell you that one of the most underutilized yet powerful tools that most guys just don't use is reprogramming their unconscious mind, reprogramming their subconscious mind to unlock new levels of performance, power, confidence, and consistency in their life. Because when most people hear about the unconscious mind or they hear about hip, hypnosis, which is something you're actually going to experience today at the end of this training, right? It kind of has this mysterious connotation to it. Like, well, what, like it kind of feels like uncharted territory. When in reality, like that's bullshit. Like for three decades, science has proven that you can change the unconscious mind, create new programs that would create massive change in your life using hypnosis. Like I, I've used it hundreds of times with the men in Wake Up Wealthy and you'll see, I'll show you some examples of guys that have gone through this program, use the hypnosis and you know, 10X their income. It's crazy, right? But so follow along, you're gonna learn exactly how to hack your unconscious mind to create massive changes in your life, in your business, in your performance and how you show up. Because it doesn't matter if you're a solopreneur right now or if you're, you, know, you have a nine to five and a side hustle or if you are a full-fledged business owner, entrepreneur with a, leading a team and scaling to the seven, eight figure level, your performance will always be the determining factor in your success. When you are in charge of your income, your performance is directly the biggest contributor of how much money you make and how much you succeed or how much you don't, right? Where does performance come from? It comes from how your inner technology works together. It comes from how your mind and body work together, right? When your mind and body are working together confidently and there's good hormones and everything's running and clicking and all that, how do you perform? You perform better, right? The caliber and consistency of what you do becomes aligned with your goals and you take better actions more consistently. You make more money, you help more people, you scale, you solve problems, you have a good time, right? Where does procrastination come from? Where does anxiety come from? Where does self-doubt come from? Where does overthinking come from? Where does all the things that typically hold us back as men in business, where does all that come from? Boom, it comes from here, right? And a lot of it comes from the subconscious level. So why not create change where the problem is? Why not solve the problem where the actual problem is? It's your unconscious mind. That's what you're gonna do today, so buckle up. So looking at this model here, you can see that if you're thinking about your, your mind and your mindset as a, as a computer, right? 10% of that computer is your conscious mind, right? So your conscious mind right now, your conscious mind is aware from, you know, anywhere from five to seven things at one time, right? So your conscious mind right now is what you're using to absorb this data, to look at the screen, to hear the words, uh, you know, maybe you're aware of some things you gotta do later, right? Conscious mind is, is, again, it's absorbing data and it's just helping us navigate moment by moment, right? But then 90% of your inner technology is your subconscious mind which is processing 11, 11 million bits of data per second, right? So think about this. There's a reason why you don't have to consciously make your heart beat every time your heart needs to beat, right? Something else handles that for you. There's a reason why you don't have to think about what seven trillion of your cells have to do at every millisecond in order to keep you alive, right? Something very intelligent, something very powerful is synchronizing all of that for you, moment by moment by moment by moment, right? What is that? That is your unconscious mind. I'm gonna use subconscious and unconscious interchangeably, right? And so your unconscious mind is, 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 is this, it's a miracle of, of, of how powerful it is and how intelligent it is and how, you know, it just wants you to survive. It just wants you to thrive. At the same time though, our beliefs live in the subconscious mind. Our habits live in the subconscious mind. Our self-image, how we really truly see ourselves When we take off the mask, when we're truly alone, when we're alone with our thoughts, how we truly see ourselves, our identity is stored at a subconscious level. Our personality is stored at a subconscious level, right? All of the past incidents and memories that shape our neural pathways and our behaviors, all that live there. All of our emotional patterns are actually stored at a subconscious level. And, and here's the crazy part. Your past programmed your subconscious mind for you. How you grew up, what you experienced, things you experienced as a kid, right? Things your parents taught you, things life experiences taught you, good things and bad things, right? All of that programmed your subconscious mind for you. Now here's the question. Did you consent to all of that programming? No, no you didn't. Neither did I, nobody did. No one gets to choose where they're born, how they're born and, and how they grow up, right? So a lot of our subconscious programs, our beliefs, our habits, our image, our personality, our emotional patterns, they were chosen for us, 
right? And because our subconscious mind is impacting our behaviors 90% of the time, the second willpower runs out, the subconscious mind takes over, right? 90% of what we do is really being driven by our subconscious beliefs, habits, images, personalities, and emotional patterns. So it doesn't matter if you have certain goals, if your subconscious beliefs, habits, how you see yourself, your personality, if it is not aligned with those goals, well, guess what? You're not going to get there or it's going to be way harder than it has to be because 90% of the time it's your subconscious steering the ship, not you. And, and, th and this is true. A lot of us, we don't know where our, our beliefs come from, but we believe them. We feel them, right? Well, dude, they live in your subconscious mind and they could be changed. They could be changed. Because think about this. Do you ever wake up in the morning and on your to-do list is procrastinate? Do you ever wake up in the morning and on your to-do list is overthink or doubt yourself or, or, or uh, assume negative things about yourself and others? Is that ever on your conscious to-do list? No, usually not. So why does it happen all the time, right? Why do our bad habits keep happening even though we're consciously, we're saying we don't want to do that, right? Why is 60% of the country obese or overweight when they know they should probably eat better foods and exercise more, right? Consciously they know, but... Conscious information alone is not enough. If it doesn't impact the subconscious mind, real, lasting, consistent change cannot happen. Cannot happen, right? It can happen when there's willpower. But again, willpower is not sustainable. Willpower is like the charge on your cell phone. Once it's out, it's out. Once it's out, it needs, it's, it's, off, it's out of commission until it needs to be recharged. So how do you make yourself bulletproof and unstoppable whether you have willpower or not? You do things that change the unconscious mind, which is what we're going to talk about today. So, but let's think about like what happens, why is change so hard for most people? Why is real transformation at a physical level, a mental level, a financial level, a professional level, an emotional level, a spiritual level, why is it so hard, right? Because it's not just information, right? It, like between podcasts, YouTube, free trainings, like the information we need is everywhere around us right? So it's not just the information we need, because if it was just the information we needed, everybody you know would be walking around super fit, super rich, super happy, super, super, super helpful, super loving, right? We all know, you know, the benefits of gratitude and meditation and, and self-love. We all know the benefits of consistency and goal setting and daily non-negotiables. We all know that stuff. But how come only if it seems like a very select few are able to take that information and run with it day after day after day after day? Here's the problem. It's called your critical faculty, your analytical mind. And so here's what happens. Information is entering our conscious mind all the time, just like this information is entering your conscious mind, right? But we have this thing, this barrier called the critical faculty, which is our analytical mind. And information that does not match our preconceived view of the world or our preconceived view of ourself, our critical faculty will prevent it. It's kind of like a bouncer outside of a club. It will prevent it from entering the subconscious mind where permanent lasting change happens, right? So let's say, you know, we have a deep seated belief that we're not a good leader. We have a deep seated belief that people don't respect us, right? If we have a deep seated subconscious belief that people don't respect us and we read a book about leadership, guess what? Because that book about leadership that's helping us become a more powerful, confident leader, because that information does not match our subconscious view of ourself, our critical faculty will say, hey, mm, no, 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 get out of here, right? Your critical faculty is basically here to protect and keep intact all of your subconscious programs. And not because it's here to, not because it's out to get you. Your critical faculty and your subconscious mind aren't here to get you. They're very, they're just very loyal right? They're very loyal to you and who you think you are. And so your critical faculty is like the doorman and anything that does not match your preconceived, often subconscious notions of yourself, the world, money, success, business, whatever, your critical faculty won't let that information in. You'll absorb it consciously, but it won't sink into where it really needs to. And eventually you'll just lose it, right? So again, why overweight people remain overweight they can read a book about fitness. They can, you know, they can join a gym or whatever, right? But their critical faculty is stopping that new information from consistently downloading because at a subconscious level, they still view themselves as overweight. They still view themselves as, as unhealthy, right? They're not trying to, but it's because their subconscious programs haven't changed that this mismatch is happening, right? So I know a lot of people who they know how to start a business. They know how to scale a business. They know how to make money and they know how to invest money. But 
they don't actually, they, 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 have a, they have a hard time embodying that information day after day after day and bringing it to life because at a deep, deep subconscious level, they don't know if they're worthy. They don't, they, they don't know if, they could, if they're truly capable of it because they're subconscious programs. Um, myself included, I'm a perfect example of this. You know, before Wake Up Wealthy, I had my own coaching platform called the Fearless Life Project. And for months, I was doing everything right. I was doing all of the outreach. I was getting on sales calls and discovery calls. And I just could not, could not close my first high ticket client. I just couldn't do it. And what I thought was, and after really learning about the power of the subconscious mind, I realized that I had some deep seated beliefs that I was doubtful. I was doubtful that I was worth someone investing $5,000 and working with me because I'd never experienced it before. And I also had some experiences from my past about being bullied and being made to feel like I'm not good enough. And all of those subconscious programs were actually preventing me from really closing deals and, and helping people. And so nothing really changed until I utilized very certain protocols and systems to change my subconscious mind to reprogram it so that I could make powerful changes in my life. And once I did, literally in 60 days, I went from having zero clients to making over $100,000 in high ticket one-on-one -on -one coaching. It was the most transformative 60 days of my life. And it all happened because I changed my subconscious mind. I obviously still had to keep doing the work. I still had to do the outreach and get on the calls and close the deals. But a change in my subconscious programming unlocked everything. And you'll see that at the end of this, I'll walk you through how uh, one of our clients at Wake Up Wealthy, Gilberto, you know, he runs a digital marketing agency. He went from 4K a month to 45K a month by changing his subconscious patterns, right? But again, this is why most people, this is why transformation is so hard for most people. They know where to find the information, but their critical faculty rejects it. It never sinks in deep enough to create lasting, impactful change in their life. This is the unfair advantage, guys. Pay attention because I'm going to show you how to get that information that is going to change your life where it needs to go, right? So during hypnosis, this is what happens. This critical faculty during hypnosis you enter a mental state in where your critical faculty is momentarily off duty, right? It's kind of like if you had the door guy guarding the door, you had the bouncer guarding the door and he went on a smoke break, right? Or he, he fell asleep and took a nap, right? But what happens when the critical faculty steps out of the way, you can easily get new information in and out of the subconscious mind. So you can reprogram it. You can, you can literally access pieces of your personality that you want to change. If you're timid and shy and you want to be more confident and, and feel better in your own skin, you can change it by reprogramming your subconscious mind. I know sometimes we think our personality is, is set in stone and it's who we are. It's not. It's truly not. Our personality was chosen for us by past experiences and then we can actually get back in the driver's seat and change it. Right? So hypnosis is simply the, the elegant process of momentarily suspending the critical faculty so that empowering information can get in and out of the subconscious mind where permanent change happens, right? And, you know, when, when you can do this, you like, you can create so much change so quickly because here are a lot of the beliefs that, you know, when men come in to wake up wealthy, this is what holds them back, right? A lot of people have an unconscious belief that success must be a struggle. It has to be hard. It has to be a grind. No, it doesn't. That's a story, that's a belief, that's a rule that you probably learned along the way. A lot of guys come in because they think sales has to be hard, that sales is uncomfortable, right? A lot of men in our group think that people don't value them, right? They have this self-doubt that they're not good enough. A lot of guys, they think that they're not disciplined, they're not organized, they're not good leaders. A lot of guys suffer from imposter syndrome, right? Not feeling like, not feeling like an expert. Um, a lot of guys, they, they think they need permission and validation in order to be great. They think they're procrastinators. They think they're not good morning people, right? A lot of people, they come into our group and they think anxiety and shyness is just part of their personality. And here's the thing. All of these beliefs may have been true for you up until this moment. And they may have felt like unchangeable pieces of your reality up until this moment. And you may have a lot of proof in your life. You may be like, dude, I'm watching this training. It's kind of making sense, but success has been really hard. Or I have suffered with anxiety my whole life. This is very real stuff, man. This isn't just a belief. I understand that. We are so powerful that when we believe something, we actualize it. We manifest it. We experience it. That's how powerful you are. And so if you don't think you're good enough, you'll continue to experience the results in your life that reflect back to you how you're actually not good enough. Not because objectively in truth, you aren't good enough. You are limitless. You have massive potential if you're watching this. But your power 
Your belief is so powerful that you're creating this cycle of belief and experience, belief and experience. So guess what happens when you put an empowering belief in here? You experience empowering results. When you put um, a lot of guys, once they change their subconscious relationship with money, guess what? If they think money is hard and then they change that belief and they learn that money can be easy and money can come you know, into their lives in really uh, numerous unexpected ways, they start to make more money in numerous unexpected ways. Your beliefs, especially your subconscious beliefs, have a very powerful way of actualizing in your life. This is why hypnosis is that unfair advantage. Like, it doesn't have to be hard. I used to think change had to be hard. That was one of my beliefs. Once I changed that belief, I started to have overnight transformations. I started to let go of old habits and old beliefs and old anxieties overnight, simply because the subconscious mind is that powerful. And so to show you just how, and like we have hundreds of examples like this, but this is Gilberto, um, one of our clients at Wake Up Wealthy, and the dude's awesome. I just love using him as an example because like, it's easy to look at him now and think like he's always been like that. The dude's making 45K a month. He's traveling all over the world. He's living in Colombia right now with some other guys that he met in Wake Up Wealthy, you know, and, and it's easy to look at him and be like, man, the guy's fit. He's making great money. He's traveling. He must be, he must be born with some X factor. No. And he'll be the first to tell you this. When he joined our program, he was anxious. He was overthinking everything. And his anxiety made him struggle with his confidence within his lead gen and sales process. He would get on the phone with people and, and he was not sure of his own value as a, as a digital marketer. And he would stutter and he would, he would doubt himself. And so he was stuck at that 4K mark. And, you know, after three to four months of being in this program, doing hypnosis sessions with us uh, and actually taking the right actions, you know, he's making 45K a month. He's calm and he's consistent. You know, here's a check-in from our Brotherhood Slack channel, right? You know, he went, he had a 20K month in January, had a 45K month in February, and he just keeps growing, right? He even shoot, he even has a shout out for the hypnosis session that he did with me personally that really unlocked a lot of these unconscious beliefs and helped him, helped him become more positive and powerful at a deep, deep level. So obviously I'm not gonna tell you about the power of hypnosis and then leave you hanging. In just a few moments, you're gonna walk through a hypnosis session as well. And what will happen? And, you know, there's no wrong way to experience it. It's like meditation. It's very, very simple. All you have to worry about is just following along and allowing your mind to relax. Like that's, that's literally it. You're, you're about to go through a very restful thing. But what you are going to experience is we are going to utilize certain coaching and, and speaking modalities to help your critical faculty take a small break. And when that critical faculty is taking a small break, I am going to walk you through some empowering information. I'm going to help you embed some powerful suggestions into your subconscious mind so that your subconscious mind can take those programs and download them and let go of some of the resistance, let go of some of the old programs that don't serve you anymore. They served you up until this point, right? They helped you get to here right now so they can't be all that bad, right? But odds are, in order to embody your future self, in order to make more money, scale a business, lead people, impact thousands, whatever it is you wanna do, odds are you're gonna to have to switch those old beliefs with some new empowering beliefs that directly align with who you wanna become, right? So if that sounds good, put in the headphones, go somewhere distraction-free, and get ready for this hypnosis. If you are somewhere where you are distracted, maybe you're at, you're at your workspace or whatever, maybe pause it now and then do the hypnosis when you are alone. Uh, at home or in your car, not driving it, but somewhere where no one's going to bother you. And what you'll notice is, what you'll notice is you'll relax and you may remember the experience. You may totally doze off. That's okay. It doesn't matter what your conscious mind does. It doesn't matter if you remember the whole thing or you just kind of doze off. This is strategically and scientifically engineered to only impact your subconscious mind where the beliefs, the habits, the patterns are stored. So get ready to relax. And when you Put in your headphones and when you begin this meditation session you will experience way more effortless change in your life than you thought possible so sit tight and let's begin the hypnosis portion of the stream now that you are ready to begin this hypnosis session simply make sure you can hear me well you can see me you're sitting on something comfortable allow yourself to get comfortable Rest your hands flat on your lap, and when you are ready to begin, just start breathing easily and gently. And as you are going into hypnosis, you will actually be envisioning a pendulum. So imagine a, a pendulum swinging from a focal point at the top. Now that you have that image wrapped around your mind, allow your eyes to close now. 
and simply come in contact with your breath. Notice how your body easily absorbs all of your inhales and notice that you can relax when you exhale. Notice the feeling of your feet and observe how your feet feel different than how your hands feel. Notice the temperature of the room on your skin and relax more deeply now, that's right. Notice the feeling of, the, of your clothing on your skin. And as you notice the feeling of the clothing on your skin, notice the nice gentle feeling of your eyelids remaining closed and relax more now, even more deeply than before. That's right. And now it's time to envision that pendulum swinging from left to right, from left to right. And as you envision that pendulum swinging from left to right, Permit yourself to relax more deeply with each swing of that pendulum. Feeling your brain loosen up, feeling your brain letting go, completely relaxed. And you'll notice that as you continue to breathe calmly and deeply and observe that pendulum and all the details that it has for you, your body will automatically go deeper into a state of relaxation as your mind lets go. And as your mind lets go, you can enter a state of total rest, restful, easy relaxation where your mind may wander and drift, or you may be here hearing every word I'm saying. Either way, you will relax more deeply now. That's right. And as you continue to look at that pendulum, simply observing it moving on its own from left to right, each swerve and each sway, causing you full permission to relax more deeply now. That's right, letting go more. That's right, entering a trance, which is simply a state where you can allow change to happen easily, and change that is easy can happen effortlessly, and I really mean effortlessly now, deeper and more relaxed, that's right. Relaxing your face, your body, your feet, your hands. All of it can actually relax now as you continue to breathe calmly and deeply and relax now. And you may notice that you can control the speed of the pendulum swaying. And at the time that is right for you, slow down and stop the pendulum as you go deeply into the deepest, most relaxed place you can be. That's right. Go there now. And in this relaxed place, where all resistance has been let go of, it's floated away, you're left here, where change can happen because your body feels nice, your mind has let go, and safety is all around you. Now, your unconscious mind knows the best ways to serve you. It knows which programs in your mind to keep, and it knows which programs no longer serve you. Your unconscious mind is doing an internal search at this moment, finding any resistance that you may have in your life that is holding you back from experiencing new levels of success and effortless achievement. So in your mind, as your unconscious mind finds these sources of resistance, you will actually envision a river flowing. And when your unconscious mind has found a form of resistance, you will see a boulder blocking the flow of that river. And because that boulder, because that resistance is blocking the flow, it's causing a disruption in the natural cadence and the natural power of the natural flow of the river. And so when your unconscious mind has revealed to you a boulder in the river, that is a form of resistance that is holding you back in some way, shape, or form. Using your exhales, allow your unconscious mind to remove the blocks, to roll the stones away so that the river can flow easily powerfully and naturally again. 
Each exhale allows you and your unconscious mind to easily remove the resistance, to let go of it, to roll it away, so that things can begin to flow again, that things can begin to grow again, things can begin to succeed again. And for the next few moments, allow your unconscious mind to show you any rivers that are blocked, any boulders that are causing resistance, preventing the flow of your greatness, your intelligence, and your potential. And any time you come into contact with a boulder, using your exhales, your unconscious mind will remove those boulders for you and you will notice the water begin to flow easily, effortlessly, and powerfully. Continue this process until your unconscious mind has no more boulders of resistance to show you. And notice that you can enjoy this process. You can enjoy the process of your unconscious mind creating new breakthroughs in your life. Notice how effortlessly you're moving forward now that the rivers are flowing. And with each exhale, boulders are being removed. Resistance is being rolled away easily and effortlessly on your behalf. As you continue to breathe calmly and deeply and as your unconscious mind begins to finalize this process you may notice some energy moving through your body or you may notice nothing at all you may notice some lightness as you exhale and roll the stones of resistance away or you just may feel calm and allowing this process to work for you in the greatest way is a good feeling feel good now your unconscious mind knows that as we finalize this process and as I count up from one to five you will become more aware and more awake and as I increase in my count and get to five your unconscious mind will finalize installing all of these new patterns and will permanently be removing all of this resistance as I count up one beginning to become more aware of yourself in your body too, feeling good, feeling like work was done that would be lasting forever. Three, starting to feel more awake, more alive. Four, coming back to the surface almost entirely. And five, coming back completely. Eyes getting ready to open, feeling refreshed, feeling amazing. And eyes open now. Hello. I hope you enjoyed that hypnotic session. As with any form of hypnosis, your unconscious mind did all the work. Maybe you remember it and you were there the whole time, or maybe your conscious mind uh, took a little breezy nap. No matter at all. The work was done at the subconscious level, and you can look forward to enjoying less resistance in your life, less procrastination as you move forward because of the work you've done here today. I recommend utilizing this hypnosis at least three more times in addition to the time you just completed it to really allow for these changes to take hold in a long lasting way. Enjoy feeling great.